Now, when you're looking at players to come to DME for the basketball team, especially from other countries, are you looking for their talent in the court? Are you looking at their character and kind of their personality when you're interviewing them? Or is it kind of a combination of everything as far as you're concerned? You're right. It's a combination of everything. I mean, they have to, they have to fit in. And most importantly, can we make a difference in this kid's life? That's, that's, that's the big deciding factor. We want to make sure that we can have a chance at them reaching a level of excellence. I mean, when you think about it, there's, there's five choices these kids have. They can be bad, which doesn't take much effort. They can be average, which is sort of what most kids are. They can even be good. He's a good ball player. He's a good student. He's a good son. But you know what? Over time, good turns into invisibility. You really don't notice good. What you do notice is exceptional. And as we talked about, that's our whole focus. Can I help this kid reach exceptional status? And that takes into consideration a whole lot of different attributes, not just his jump shot, not just his vertical. As a matter of fact, oftentimes if that's what you focus on, you're going to be very unsuccessful because the NBA is just, a, it's a dream. It's a very rarely do we have kids like the Murray brothers that come through DME, you know, and, and keep in mind what happened with them. They came as post-grads. Why would somebody with that type of talent, you know, go to a po do post-grad unless they had massive injuries or something like that. It was because they just hadn't been discovered. What they needed talk about value proposition was they needed a place where they could get into the gym 24 seven, where they could get up 500 shots a day, where they could become, where they could believe in themselves. And the Murray brothers, as well as many other kids have that opportunity.